Father, thank you so very much for today and for this morning. Thank you. Thank you for the honor done us. Redeeming us and bringing us, Lord, into your big family. Indeed, a body have you prepared us that will bring you glory. May each and every one of us, Lord, receive strength, receive grace to help us, Lord, in the time of need. We need you now more than ever. Each day, Lord, we need you now more than ever. Blessed be your name. Be our help, Lord. Be our help. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Be our help. We give you praise this morning. Holy Spirit, join our hearts together as one people. Enable and empower us, Lord, that we will be able to pray. Guide us in ways, Lord, into the presence of the Father that will bring Him glory by that which we do. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And all the saints say, Amen. Welcome this morning to every one of you. Some of you I haven't seen in a while. Thank you for logging in this morning. I want us to look at a couple of scriptures. First of all, I'd like us to read some 40 and then we'll pick up the reference in Hebrews 10. We thank the Lord for His wonderful works unto us. We thank him for Diana Danas. Psalm 40, 6 to 8. The scripture says, Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. My ears has thou opened. Bent offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my Father. I don't know if you will be able to say that I come according to that which is written of me. I don't know if you will be able to say that I come according to that which is written of me. But I pray that each and every one of us will be able to come to that place and and be bold and be very bold and 
be very bold. As I say this, a man's name came to my heart. His name is Caleb. Not our very reverend. But Caleb, in the days of Joshua, the scripture says that Moses, the servant of God, in Joshua chapter 14, the scripture says that when they had he had sent them forth and had spied out the land and all, and they came back, and he and Joshua were the only ones who brought a good report. They had gone round and they had fought. They had defeated most of the people. And he came before Joshua several years later. And Joshua 14, it's come to my heart. I just want us to to see. And, and uh, in Joshua 14, from verse 7, you hear Caleb, and he says that 40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord thy God. And now, behold, then he comes into the present. And now, behold, the Lord have kept me alive. And beloved, the Lord has kept someone alive. The Lord has kept you alive. And someone say that, I thank God that the Lord has kept me alive. And once there is life, I have the opportunity to fight for that which is mine because it's been written of me. In, in Caleb's case, it was not a case that it was written, but it was even more than it been written. He said, he swore it unto me that this land where your feet have stepped, same way God has spoken unto all of us about the soles of our feet where it treads belongs to us. He said, now behold, the Lord have kept me alive. And someone confessed that God, my God, he has kept me alive for such a time as this. And as he said, these 40 and 5 years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day four score and five years old. Beloved, how many years has that been? Forty-five years. This man kept this word in his heart. Forty-five years. This man has kept this word in his heart. That God, through Moses, has spoken and said that, hey, this land that you have gone to spy in, and the places you have gone, and you have wholly followed God, it is yours. He said, as yet, and, 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 and as yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me out. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now. For what? Both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. Why? Because the Lord spake in that day. For thou hast heard in that day how the Anakims were there and that the cities were great and fenced. And if so be that the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord has said. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb, the son of Jephne, Hebron, for an inheritance. I always say that it became Caleb's view. That is what it became at the end of the day. Caleb, after all, Caleb, that is what it became at the end of the day. Why? Because the man came to the point where he felt that God has said it is mine. And someone, I don't know what the mountain is, but you want to say that, give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. If the Lord quickened this in my heart, let's touch that one first. 
Give me this mountain. Maybe you want to rise up a little more. And God has spoken into your heart and says that, Hey, Marabon, Dilibikata, Zen, Diakele, Mon, Dilibike. Liberty, Grace, Life, Chapel, La, and it's around you. Will I give you? Nemon, Dilibikata. Give us this mountain. It is not just that you will say, give me this mountain and stop. But you want to see yourself taking it and being propelled and moving forward this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Maybe that project, you know, the Lord laid it in your heart that you'll be able to finish it. And somebody receives strength to finish it. Give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. The Lord propel you. Rebadion no son telebedi aneke. Give me this mountain. Nemo di ni bikata zeni akele bide. Maybe that degree. Marobon di ni bikata ndere menemiosto. Give me that mountain. Raban di ni bikoto zibi ande sete. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Maybe it is that marriage. Give me that mountain. Raban di ni bikata zoniono ko di ni bikata. Remon di ni bikata zeni anu le bi aneka. Someone put on strength. Give me this mountain. That every obstacle, every anarchy, every kind of discouragement that is in the past, you propel yourself above it. Give me this mountain. Maybe it is health that someone thinks you may not be able to attain unto that health. But someone come to that point to be able to say, Hey, Maraban, Hey, the Lord has kept me alive. I will possess this mountain. He mandele biane katanda rabundesi. He malabon di ribikata zeni. You may find yourself in trouble. Are completely out of your nation. He mandele biane kanta ribidi onoko. Or not knowing anyone to turn to the left or to the right. But let the Lord give you this mountain to possess it this morning. He balu no robi on the zanta. It may be complications of health. He manyo rodimi ni something but you desire that hell that God has promised that my daughter or my son I will oh you will prosper and be in good health as your soul prosper you want to come to that place and preach come Amon Dirivikata in the name of the Lord Jesus Yebado Nele Bionde Rebiane Katandize in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. No la bian de kata zinike. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Karoba o namo zenioneke. Amen. De lebo mokoto divinda se. Amen. De le biane karandi ni bikata zene. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Hey marabandi ni bikata. Maybe your children are going wayward, but you want to come in the name of the Lord and say that your word says to me that you will save and save to the uttermost with my household. Oh, give me that mountain. Take hold, Rabande, and draw it in in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, Nasio, no lo bon di ni bikata. Hey, badaba, lo nio sese. Hey, ne zenio kolo brandi ni bikata. Draw it in, beloved, rapaloro moni. Kalandese, re katayanda laba di libiko. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, maradiana santo libike. The Lord is your strength, beloved. Marabon de lepia de cantes bene. The Lord is your strength. Imandio zonia calibran de libika. We put on strength, beloved. We put on strength, Raman de libike. The arm of the Lord is made manifest in us. We lay hold, Rapalore biandeke. The Lord is not weak today, nor tomorrow. He mandel e bia de kantasi ni mike. We come by the strength of the Lord. Re kataronno zonio. The things that must change places, we cause them to change places. He marabanda zinio koto. We move them out of the way. Re katano ze miandel e pekete. Our influences go far this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we possess our places. If a rapanda the ande kalamana, we extend our frontier. We bring it to bear. Rapanda kalaba. In the name of the Lord Jesus. This year we draw it in. Draw it in, beloved. Rakato malabadia. Rise above the limitations. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kaya no zonioko. Retebenio zonionate. The Lord Karadion Nasaka was with Kelebrabanda Ziriakata. 
and he brought it, he possessed it. He possessed Hebron. Mele Bionolo Brondiri Bikata. I don't know what you are possessing this morning. Maybe it is that marriage that has eluded you. Maybe it is that standing that has eluded you. Maybe it is that home that is falling apart. Maybe it is your ministry that is falling apart. Possess it. It is his will. It is written of you that you will bring forth the victory. Give us this mountain. Give us this mountain. Sacrifices and offering. He does not desire. But a body has he prepared. Yes, Lord. Indeed, Father, we thank you. We thank you. And bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. I will. Well, let's turn to Hebrews chapter 6. Sing unto the Lord, as long as I live, I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My meditations of Him shall be. And I will give you six. <clears throat> There's some big English that King James used in Hebrews chapter six, verse seventeen. Immutability, the unchangeableness. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 17, that wherein God willing more abundantly. Willing is enough, or more willing is enough. But it's say more abundantly. That means the willingness is without measure. The willingness is like the sea. God's willingness to show unto the earth of promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. If I go into <clears throat> a lot more details, we probably won't build our prayer point. But ponder over those words and see that God was so abundantly willing to show unto you and I that what he says, he doesn't turn his back on it. So in order to even <clears throat> confirm that, he actually made an oath and assured us 
Now, 19 and 20, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, <clears throat> both sure and steadfast, which entered into that within the veil, whether the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So there has always been a veil. There has always been a place that is precluded to some. There have always been a place. One of the things, for example, that you, you, should, you should think about a physical thing in, 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 in Genesis 3 was the fact that when Adam and his wife unfortunately sinned and the Lord had to drive them out of the garden, the scripture says that he put cherubs with flaming salt around the tree of life, lest man comes to eat it and live. So Adam and his generation were precluded from eternal life in the fallen state by that cherubs or those cherubs or the cherubim who were standing with blazing salt. If Adam were to go, he had to go through the blazing swords, and, and that would be the end of him. So he now would have advised himself and, and not even bother in that direction. So that is like a veil. The tree is dead. But there is no way that he can go on to it. But the Bible says that our forerunner has gone ahead of us into the veil. Jesus, the Son of God, he went ahead of us into the veil so that we also can just follow him. There may have been things sometimes, societal veil, but Jesus has gone ahead of it. Sometimes it may be family things that has become a veil that no one in the family breaks out of it. No. Sometimes it may even be racial that no one can be able to do that. Or it may be gender that no man is able to do that. Or no woman is able to do that. But Jesus, our forerunner, has gone ahead of us into the veil. I don't know what veil you see this morning. Maybe you want a certain miracle, an outstanding miracle. But Jesus, our forerunner, has gone ahead of us and caused the veil to be broken and entered in so that we can follow him. That is why the scripture uses the word forerunner. That he has gone ahead of you into the day, beloved. So this day has no other choice but to be good. Rabadozo, Niliake. If you will be able to follow him, Marabo, Nilebikata. It doesn't matter what kind of things that are on the way and what kind of blazing swords will be there. If my forerunner has gone ahead of me, Malobro, Nilebikata, and he bid me come, Metebe, Molua, Sete, he bid you come, beloved. Repalurepi, or not something, he nezo, Nelepado, he bid you come, Marabo, Nilebikata, he bid you follow, Rekete, Neliono, Zondika, he manolepi, Anekete, you want to stay on to every bill. You don't have what it takes to hold me back. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you have to propel some people whose destiny is tied to you and propel them through that bill this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus, that the Lord has gone ahead of us. Therefore, there is healing for you. Hey, Marabanda Labadi Ribikata, the Lord has gone ahead of us. Therefore, there is a lifting up for you. The Lord has gone ahead of us. Therefore, there is a staring for you. The Lord has gone ahead of us. Therefore, there is a turning around for you. Hey, Marabondi Libicata. Therefore, there is glory. Remondi Libicata. Therefore, there is promotion for you. Hey, Merebe, Nilibiondo Soto. Hey, Marabondi Libicata. Liberty Grace Life Chapel. The Lord has gone ahead of us. Therefore, there is a lifting up. Therefore, there is a light breaking forth. Therefore, there is victory. Hey, Marandoso. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus, Kalemo, Rokotabe, Enaziande, Rakatonga, Enaziande. Without the foreigner, he didn't do it for himself. I pray you see that word. Without the foreigner is for us entered. If Jesus entered into the constellations, I am there. If Jesus entered into the heavenly, I am there. Ranoso, Nalio Robo. Hey, Rabiane Seten, Bibikata. Someone said your destiny. If Jesus entered into a place of goodness, you are there. Ramanule, Bibikata. If Jesus entered into a place of good health, you are there. Ramos, Soton, Bibikata. If Jesus entered into the place of liberty, you are there, Ramanero Kondili Bikata. If Jesus entered into the place of victory, victory is your portion. Hey, Maraluza Nyoneke, he is for us, enter. Where the foreigner is for us, enter. Even Jesus made an high priest forever. After the order of Melchizedek. Beloved, in those days, when the high priest accepts the offering of the people and makes sacrifices for them, oh Ramanli Reken Dilibiata send your colo brosi. No one has the right to say anything about it. The high priest was the one who said, Go, my daughter, the Lord be with you. Hey, Maramo Zeniane Kante, the high priest is the one that says, Go for your sins are forgiven. Oh, Raman Diana Kante Lebete, the high priest is the one that said to Hannah and said that, Oh, go as you have sought of him, may it be granted unto you. And the Bible says that Hannah went away rejoicing and went and had a meal unto herself. Though she hasn't seen the answer yet. Why? Because the high priest had just said to her, when he first thought that she was a drunkard and a daughter of Belial, and said everything, oh, that in his mind. And she found out what the truth is. He said to her, go, my daughter, and the peace of God be with you. And as you have sought of him, so may it be granted unto you. And he was so beloved. The high priest has gone ahead of us. And today we take upon ourselves the intercessions of the high priest in the name of the Lord Jesus. What the high priest is standing and declaring concerning you and your household. What the high priest is standing and declaring concerning you and your ministry. What the high priest is standing and concerning you and the power to arise into the heavenly. May it be your portion and your possession this morning. Instead of just saying amen, you want to be able to confess it and to declare that it is my place. The high priest has gone ahead of me. Hey, Marabo, the the high priest has gone into that difficult place ahead of me and is interceding for me and made a room for me. Therefore, I receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, Marandu, Labiono, Sonte, Eva, Laraka, Tunemese, in the name of the Lord Jesus. The high priest, Keyande, Lebekata, the sick among us, he has gone ahead of them. Le Manole, Biandere, Bediadeke, Hey, Rabadula, Biondeke, and purchased for them healing and restoration. He Manole, Biondeke, we propel them into it. That which has considered itself into a veil, it has already been rent in two. That field that you are, the veil of it has been rent in two. That office where you are, the rent, the veil has been torn asunder. That falling marriage, a falling home. That ministry that is being tossed to the left and to the right, the veil has been torn asunder, and you have been propelled into it. That fear that has stood as a blazing sword, oh, the Lord has passed through it. That voice that you hear, demonic entities that put themselves together, the Lord made a public spectacle of them and triumphed over them and entered into the veil for you, Rapodazi. Be propelled into your place this morning. The Lord be praised. 
the Lord be glorified. For he has indeed gone ahead of us. He's gone ahead of us into the day. Therefore, the day yield his best fruits to us. He's gone ahead of you into the year in which you are. Therefore, May 2023, oh, yield his best fruits to us. We possess our place. We lay hold on that which God has purchased for us. For it is indeed written of us that the children cannot be hungry while the dogs eat. Every dog, Emanolo Brown, did he be cut as any? Every dog, Repolo Ron, did he be cut as Lay hold on that which God has given unto you. By the victory of Jesus, we command us to drop it. The Lord be glorified this morning. We give him praise forevermore. The Lord bless you, beloved, and keep you. The Lord make his face shine unto you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and I and give us peace perfect peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. And all the saints shall say, Amen.